Today I have a unique find. This is a tuned up uh, Benefactor Panto. This will be the interview of the Panto. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, take a look at the interior next here, take it for a brief test drive around the block, and show you all the amazing aspects of this tiny micro car. Today I'm at Luxury Autos on Mad Wayne Thunder Drive in the Rockford Hills. Let's go ahead and start it up and let it run. Now, a lot of people don't know, but this is actually a personal vehicle I just picked up lately. It does not have a spawn location, therefore making it obvious. Uh, this one has remote start, which is accessible through the interaction menu. And if you hold the touch button down, uh, the touch pad on the PS4 down, you can open that menu up. You can also turn on your headlights, neon lights if equipped, and change your radio station. This car is carbon black, is a, has a carbon flat black exterior with a black interior to match. Pretty nice sound from the throaty little three cylinder. It started up in third person as well. You have a leather wrapped steering wheel with color contrast stitching. Power is routed in this specific model through the Benefactor three or five speed automatic, which if you were to look at the real life counterpart, the Smart 4.2's transmission automatic. Basically, it has a clutch that's electronically activated, so you do get that kind of manual style shift tra uh, transition. Pretty neat feature for the car. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. The Benefactor uh, Panto was added to the game during the heist update and is known as the smallest car in GTA. Seating two and having a very small trunk in the entire front end of the car, unlike the real life variant, the Smart 4 2 is completely unopenable. Just like the Smart and Mercedes, the related, in this case, Benefactor, which is basically Mercedes Benz, manufactures the Panto. Like I said, they've only been producing the car for about a year since that heist update was added. This car has been modified to be a tuned up version, sim similar to what a Brabus Smart 4 2 would be. This vehicle features a small wing on top, lower suspension, titanium racing exhaust, uh, Cheetah Double R wheels painted black, as well as uh, it keeps the stock. Um, parts. It does, I do plan on having this car wrapped with a sticker bomb body kit so once I unlock all of them for a rally I plan on doing. Just like the real life counterpart, the car is rear engine or rear wheel drive. However, when you open the trunk, you can't get access to the engine. The engine is located underneath this carpet bit right behind the seats. So, you're probably wondering where you can buy the car. It's simple. You go to the internet, travel and transport, Southern San Andreas Super Autos. You can you can go to the exclusive stock since it is only available on their website. It's part of the actually I'm wrong. It's actually part of the I'm not a hipster update. It is available for eighty five thousand dollars in your choice of red, pink, yellow, orange, white, black, blue, and green. So let's go ahead and get our sound clip of the car. Tell you that, that titanium exhaust really brings out the throaty three cylinder note. On the interior, you get the same basic design, very similar to that of the SUVs I've reviewed in the past, including the Benefactor Dubsta, one of its um, staple mates, I guess you could say. They, they has your, your out, you can go into one of those videos to find out more in depth because I'm trying to keep time saves on this one. The tachometer is on the right, your speedometer on the left, your radio is in the middle with your AC controls below, as well as your air vents, one on the right side of the, air, of the passenger bag, one on the left side of the steering wheel, and two next to the radio. Your back door. Alright, so let's take it for a brief test drive around the block. The advantage of a car this small is that it has a really small turning circle. As you can see, I'm able to pilot around that turn easily. Another advantage is that, let's say, you want to sneak around and do some uh, illegal stunts. That's like the fourth straight review I've crashed in. Because I did crash in the Doom Loader video as well. You can do this. Something a normal sized car cannot do. It's really incredible that this little car exists. I'm glad they put it in the game. It's about time the Smart got some recognition. Alrighty. So that'll do it for this look at the Benefactor Panto, the tuned up one. 
Thank you guys again so much for watching. Like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.